The Anglican Church started its first church, Church of Christ Our Peace, in 1993 in Cambodia to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to the people of Cambodia. And since that time, we have been doing that work. So today, in addition to Church of Christ Our Peace, we have uh, two other churches in the city of Phnom Penh and uh, four mission extension in, in uh, the provinces. In Tak Mao, we had the opportunity to work with a church that was there. And since we've taken over that church, we've been providing Sunday services. And during the week, we do a bit of uh, English classes for the children around the area to reach out to them. The goal for Tak Mao now is to try and build that church into a sort of community centre where young people would come to the church and then have the opportunity to hear the gospel. The work we have in Swai Rin is a thriving work. A work started more than 20 years ago. Yeah. Apart from Sunday services, uh, the church is uh, reaching out actively uh, to the young people through education. So Pastor Chan Pi, who is our pastor there, he gives uh, Khmer language classes to the very young kids. And at the moment, we are embarking on a uh, building project to construct a three-story education center to provide skill training, English lessons uh, to the young people who want to upgrade themselves in their province. I can see that God has provided the Anglican Church uh, of Cambodia with very rich resources in terms of the people we have had and continue to have, in terms of the assets we have, and in terms of the finances uh, that we have uh, received over the years. Yeah, serving in Cambodia is very challenging for many different reasons. One of them is the cultural, what I call cultural inertia that you find. And so there's a very strong cultural inertia towards retaining their culture, their historical background. And so many, for many Cambodians, it's difficult for them to consider something beyond what they've already known. On the flip side, it's very difficult for many young Cambodians because they want to chart a new path for themselves and for the country going forward. And as they do that, it's hard for them to find role models, it's hard for them to find ideas and pathways that they can pursue. And so one of the things that we're looking to do is run courses like Alpha Course or Personal Finance Training Course and getting them into the building and into the place during the week, weekdays, maybe before their shift or after their shift or before they go to study or after they go to study. And so it's pushing us out into the community and it's uh, forcing us to find ways to creatively get them into the congregation and into the church. So the challenge is, is to not just see them as appendages or someone who, oh, you're only here a short time, so it's not gonna really matter what we do with you because you're going to be gone. If we adopt that mindset, then 70% of the church goes unpastored. So the mindset I've chosen and adopted is how can we pastor you? If you're here for two weeks or if you're here for 20 years, we want to pour into you. We want to see you grow. We want to see you learn to use the gifts God's given you. We want to see you be an integral part of the body of Christ in the church. Ongoing prayer requests is that God would raise up leaders, Cambodian leaders, from within the congregation, maybe from within the Alpha groups or from within the financial peace, people that have a true heart for the Lord and heart for their country. Uh, we see our foreign leader as a stopgap. We are very happy to serve as the foreign leader of a Cambodian congregation, but ultimately our goal and our prayer is to have a Cambodian leader leading the Khmer congregation.